Hello, survivors, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about and show you the new update for yet another zombie survivors. There are a lot of new achievements. There's a new map with a new soundtrack. There's new abilities for every character and there's new items in all of the chests. So let's get straight into it. The first thing is the upgrade tree itself got some changes. So your rerolls as well as your banishes have actually been times by two so you used to only get three and four it's now eight and six which is fantastic however the xp upgrade uh which one was xp again over here got reduced to 25 percent from 50 percent so that's a bit of a bummer uh we kind of needed those levels especially on the new map and with all of the upgrades now they also brought in a whole lot of new achievements uh, some of them i've done already uh like fend off a mummy attack with deadly efficiency uh, there's some that people are struggling with like myself uh, cause baby because <laughs> baby you're a firework uh, blow up a zombie after it's blown up in the air so you need a lot of explosives for that one uh, there's a cute little potato which actually uh, you know we spoke about last night on the discord and we found out how to do it i will show you how to do it and everything about it in the uh, game while we're doing it but the first thing you will need for it is to have unlocked the potato which is somewhere over here over here you have to level up a skill to its maximum value you unlock the potato and then what you're going to need is to get three of those potatoes and that will allow you to find the bunny i'm going to show you where you need to go on the new map it has to be the new map from what we know from what i know so on the new map i'm going to show you where you go to unlock the bunny and then each character has a new second ability at rank two uh, for ghost that's hollow ghost uh, for our uh, juggernaut it's the, the fury unleashed for the engineer it's the emp grenade for the uh, huntress it's arrow penetration for the uh, swat it is ricochet and then for the medic it's actually resurrection which is fantastic or reanimation so let's get straight into it let's see what the new map is like we are going to be playing an ability build so we're going to be using the engineer the tank and swat uh, for this it's going to be really really fun it's going to be like a very uh, tanky uh, turret buildy kind of build so we're going to be using our minigun we're going to be using the assault rifle the turret uh, the bomb explosions and then everything else but now as you can see each character has their three skills in the beginning then their gun which is the fourth one or actually like five because it's two guns and then seven because of the two other ranked uh, things so these two over here unlock the guns where you pick either the assault rifle or the sniper rifle you actually get to take both of these rank two uh, sorry rank uh, three rewards so you get the automated tower and the rocket uh, ricochet uh, in every single map so it's really really cool but let's get into it a uh, new soundtrack new re uh, area and it's just really really awesome so there are a couple of things to be a bit uh, wary of but let's first go and see where the the the, the bunny is going to be spawning when you get those three potatoes so if you move over to the right hand side of the map uh, you're going to see all of these weird buildings over here there's going to be a specific building so it's actually lower down on the border of the map it is on the border of the map so you just got to keep moving and you'll eventually find it and before we get into the majority of our build we are going to max our weapon because i think in the beginning the weapons do do a lot more damage so this is the building over here you need to get uh, three potatoes and you will be able to get the bunny you can actually see something inside the building over there i think that's a chicken actually not even a bunny but anyway uh, that's how you do it you get three potatoes and then you come to this building over here and you'll find senji the bunny so that's fantastic and that was one of the hardest achievements that was eluding a lot of us for the entire time uh, until uh, you know myself suggested that we look for potatoes because you know in the achievement it actually says uh it's, it's it mentioned something about potatoes in the achievement uh i can't remember the exact wording unfortunately but that made me believe you know you needed it you needed potatoes to get the 
the bunny I could never confirm it because I haven't been able to find three potatoes myself so one of the other members went last night and he managed to get three potatoes and then he found out you had to go to that house to find the bunny so really cool that we all work together to find out all these little secrets and achievements and how to accomplish them so if you are struggling with anything in the game uh, you can go to their discord server the oaks there are really uh, cool uh, happy to chat and discuss things and obviously it is quite a, a friendly server as well so you know they the usual run of the mill if you toxic they're gonna kick you off so you know just behave and you should be all Gucci over there. All right, so we're gonna go for the laser. It does do more damage than his blaster. And once we've got that set in, we are able to go and get our next, uh, uh, gosh, what is the word? Our next uh, person, and that's gonna be the tank. Again, we're going tank and SWAT, uh, just because of all the explosive power. It's just really, really funny. And I gotta say, I love the soundtrack over here, but I do want to just lower it a little bit. I think I have it a little too high. Um, there we go. That's a bit better. All right, so we actually got bombing strike on the get-go. Calling the big guns as a friendly bomber aircraft sweeps the fields around you. Yeah, let's take it. And we're gonna have a helicopter. So we're gonna have a lot of vehicles in the air. We're gonna have a lot going on over there. Ooh, bombs, bombs, bombs. That's probably once we have the rocket launcher going to help us get the bomb explosion going off. The one where it causes you to uh, kill enemies while they're in the air. But we're going to grab Fury Unleashed as well. It looks like it increases weapon damage, fire rate, and fire a weapon reload time. Uh, that's fantastic because we are going for uh, ability power over here. So actually we could have banished that one. But we're going to grab it just in case. Uh, it does make a lot of sense to take it. You know, who wouldn't grab it? But uh, we're going to grab the item chest. But what it does is it increases our luck and our dodge chance every time we open up a chest. It's going to be fantastic for... Uh, actually we don't need it right now so i'm not gonna grab it we're gonna grab the armor instead um what's it's it's more it's better more for those long runs uh when you are playing uh, let's say your endless runs or things like that and you're trying to last forever so then you'd grab something like that but because we we're not going to be doing that and because it doesn't make sense to get happiness or dodge chance on our characters when we're playing with armor and heavy duty uh, characters then uh, you know it's better to go into one and not both of them uh, in a short run but if we were playing on uh, hardcore or if we were playing on uh, endless mode i would then say okay let's go and grab ourselves uh, that's because we're going to be opening up a lot of chests Right. I think by the end of this we've probably opened up maybe 10 and that's one luck. That's to say, we're, I mean it's better just to grab one teddy bear, that's 10 luck. And then there's also the item dodge chance thing. Alright, so we're not looking for uh, ability cooldown, so we're not going to grab that. I mean we are looking for ability cooldown and damage. So we're going to grab the homing pigeon, uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. It's homing pigeon and then there was another item, oh man, the name... I haven't played this game enough to know every single name, uh, but there are other items that have ability cooldown as well as ability damage. So we are going to go and grab all of those. So even if it gives us a negative two damage or weapon damage, that is okay because we're not really interested in the weapon damage. We're more interested in everything else ability wise. Just for today. All right, so now we've got the helicopter strike, but we're gonna grab, uh, actually, I am gonna banish the Fury Unleashed. We're not so worried about the cooldown or the damage. Uh, it doesn't make sense. We're doing an ability uh, thing and that increases our weapon damage and stuff like that. So we don't need that. Uh, we're gonna go for the electrocution on our uh, engineer for now. All right, grenade trail. Yeah, we could probably get rid of that as well. Um, but we can try and keep everything else because there are abilities. I wonder what kind of run we could get. I must try it and then we, we might get it going. 
but we could try a run where we only take abilities and we actually banish the weapons that could be very very interesting one of the other things that they actually added into the game besides for the new area and things like that is um uh, auto aim so you can now actually auto aim with your characters you are able to go into the settings you just go to options you click on the controller thing and then there's manual aim on and auto aim off i mean auto fire off so if you have uh, auto fire off that's actually very good to do some of the achievements with that uh, especially the the rocket one where you've got to blow up all the zombies or even the ragdoll physics of the game there's an achievement to explore the ragdoll physics uh, what you can do is you uh, just round up as many zombies as possible with the rocket launcher turn off your auto damage and then you're going to go and use it and bam you kind of knock up like every single zombie in the game at the same time uh, so uh, really cool to do things like that to be silly uh, maybe we can try that someday for you guys and see how it goes but uh, we need our worm over here to kind of eat more zombies for us and we need to also uh, dunk, uh, hunker down. We need to get our shotgun updated into a minigun as well so that we can start pew pewing everything. Uh, not for damage, but just for the aesthetic of the, the build that we're going for, you know. Uh, it kind of makes sense to grab it. So we don't need money right now. Uh, I don't need movement speed either. We're going to grab the weapon damage and the armor. It's only 5% weapon damage, but we do want the armor. It does make us a lot tankier and take less damage, so, you know, why wouldn't we? And then let's get more levels going. Thank goodness, uh, you know, the SOS uh, part of the game doesn't only give you like one or two, you know, once you get your your max team set up, your three, uh, three uh, player team, uh, at least the SOS doesn't disappear. You're always able to get it uh, to upgrade your, your characters, so you don't have to worry about you know always leveling up only so we do get level ups like this from that it does give us a full level you can see it did actually drop our uh, xp down a bit and we went from level 23 to 24 so as long as you are picking those up it gives you a free level which is uh, really good especially if you need it uh, we can go for laser first this probably does a lot more damage than the energy shield but eventually we're going to get to a point where we're going to just stand still and everything's going to die around us, which is going to be fantastic. That's the whole point of this build, uh, where we just get to stand still and it's a very like a bunker buster kind of build. So, I mean, it's not really a build. The game doesn't have designed builds or anything like that. Obviously, there are synergies and things like that, like having abilities that require you to move less makes a lot more sense. Uh, but uh, just being able to stand here and not move is really fun. So we can just enjoy the soundtrack, we can enjoy the aesthetics of the game. And we actually haven't found the new boss yet. So hopefully this one in the top right over here is the new boss. That's like a huge ass mummy uh, that chases you. Yeah, there we go, there's him. So it's kind of like a mummy and he shoots these balls at you and those explode into smaller balls in other directions there we go and they actually do so much damage to you and there's also he summons spiders that blow up on you there we go so you do need to be careful of those because they can one well they're not supposed to be able to one shot you but because he does spawn quite a few of them uh, the actual ability itself can one shot you so do be careful of them don't be in that red circle at all near them because they will wreck your face. I've died plenty of times to those spiders without even realizing they were there. So do just be careful if you haven't played the update yet and you see those zombies over there. All right, let's upgrade our energy shield. That's maxed now, so we're not gonna see that anymore. That's fantastic. It's gonna help us find other upgrades in the game and let's keep going like i mentioned the potato very difficult to find especially since there are a whole lot of new uh upgrades we found the uh, defeated boss grants you a weapon reload and weapon fire we don't need the item chest chest we're going to get rid of that uh, we're going to take glass of milk again for even more armor we are going to become the tanks of all tanks so this is going fantastically we're getting the upgrades we want in terms of armor i would like more ability cooldown and damage that would be even better in terms of damage 
uh, but we'll see. I, I'm, I'm sure if we eventually get the rocket launcher, which is the way we're going. Sorry, the minigun. No, we actually... Uh, I wanted the minigun because of the pew pew. It made sense with the turret. But we might actually go the rocket launcher because that's more of a bunker buster kind of build. Um, it just makes sense, you know. If we're going to bunker down, you might as well get like a massive rocket launcher. Oh, but both weapons are so cool. It's just the damage of the, the minigun is uh, quite lackluster in my, my eyes. Uh, not because it doesn't do a lot of damage, but just because compared to like your rocket launcher where you feel it doing a lot of damage, like you know this huge number with a zombie flying, the minigun's just pew pew and it takes like half of your hundreds of bullets that you have to kill, you know, one zombie. So it doesn't feel as good for me uh, as you, using the rocket launcher. Alrighty, let's keep going. Get the pump action shotgun. Trying to get zombies to get eaten by that. There is an achievement to get the bosses to kill each other. I uh, somehow got it, I have no idea here. Uh, it's Nuts and Bolts, that was the name of the upgrade that gives you the ability cooldown. Uh, you know, that's a very difficult name to remember, Nuts and Bolts. Grab the EMP for the Engineer, which is one of his new abilities. You'll see it go off when, there we go, it went off. It does shock all of the uh, enemies around you as well, the ones that don't get hit by it, or get damaged by it, sorry. So, you know, it does kind of hit quite a lot of enemies, which is fantastic. And it got quite a big AoE going there. I think, I don't know if you can actually get area of effect as a uh, upgrade. I haven't seen anything like that. You can't actually get it now that I'm thinking about it. But it would be cool to maybe add in the future. It would be really nice to see like us get this energy shield or like our turret AoE being massive. Or even the bombing strike, you can see it's got quite a small AoE for it to land on zombies. If we could get a build going that made it so that you had massive AoE, that would be really, really cool. Because I know you can get like a, a lot of weapon reload speed, so that you can actually be on like 1% reload speed. So your guns like instantly reload when they are uh, level, I mean when you need to reload them. You can get a lot of cooldown reduction on your items as well. Uh, and things like that so uh, I think it would be cool maybe in the next update I'll put a suggestion down in the discord server it would be uh, hopefully it doesn't fall on deaf ears and other people would think oh that's actually a really cool idea as well and they also support the decision so I'm gonna put a, a, a suggestion down on the discord for like an AOE thing because I think it would be really really cool to get I'm wondering if we need more XP if we're gonna need it we're on 125 percent we are going to lose ability and weapon damage. I don't know why it's not showing the ability damage wanting to go down, but we're actually going to re-roll over here. Uh, let's see, we'll take the health regen again, so we're on 10 per second. Just to ensure that we do survive that little bit longer. You know, it would be rather embarrassing if we died. But then again, if I did die, you'd never know because uh, the video wouldn't make it onto YouTube. <laughs> the powers of re-recording if I die. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, Doug Boat's never happening. Just really like the music. I know I've said it, but, you know, we've got to appreciate things when they're good. Alright, I found that you, you definitely kill a lot less zombies in this map compared to the first one. Like I remember the first map you are able to, you know, guarantee over 6,000 kills before 16 minutes. Uh, this one we're only on about 3,400 and it's already 11 minutes into the round. So you do kill a lot less because they are tankier and they are a lot... Uh, harder to kill the bosses uh, that mummy boss does feel a lot tougher to kill compared although there's actually only two bosses on this run uh, on this map there's only the boss uh, the one that we both that we've seen the guy that chases after you 
as well as the mummy boss. I haven't seen the other bosses like the uh, the Banshee or whatever you want to call it, Nightshade, or the Witch, sorry that's the name of the boss. So I haven't really seen the Witch anywhere and I haven't seen the, the Abomination that charges you. So uh, very interesting that they get rid of the bosses but they keep the one dude that chases you with his, uh, his weapon. But uh, it would be cool, maybe there is a second boss, or maybe they left off another boss because you do have the sandworm over here which is continuously harassing you. So it could be because of that, but otherwise there are only two bosses that you're going to be fighting at any given time. Obviously there could be multiple of the same boss at the same time, but you're not going to be seeing uh, a lot of the, you're not going to see more than the two of those bosses and the sandworm on this map. At least not for now, maybe later on in, you know, the next update or whatever, they'll add more bosses to the, the stage. Alright, oops, I forgot about the worm. Luckily, we are quite beefy. So, any enemy attack at any given time, so one enemy attack can only now do a maximum of 1000 damage. So, if you landed up getting yourself like 2100 life, you could tank two hits one after the other and you will be a-okay you won't die from it immediately whereas before i think the enemy's attacks could insta give you i think this is more like for an endless change so you do have a time to recover if you do take a hard hit um but otherwise it's not really something you see too much in uh the the normal game modes so let's go over there We've also got the chick magnet, which increases your magnet range uh, when you are uh, picking up money drops. We're not really interested in that. We're going to pick up the wrench for ability damage, 10% increased ability damage. That's awesome. And really nice that we get so many rerolls. So I can actually do all this rerolling and get some of these awesome upgrades that we are looking for. Alright, finally we finished the pump action shotgun. We might eventually get ourselves the rocket launcher just somewhere in the game. Uh, I think the best thing we could do is just stand still and let everything come to us. But otherwise, uh, I think we, we should be okay. I mean, in terms of killing a lot of enemies, it would be better to try and start. I mean, the laser beam is very strong though, so we should be okay with how many we've killed. I'm pretty sure there was... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there was a boss here. And I couldn't see him. He does do a slam attack as well. Very careful of that as well. Deals a whack ton of damage. Again, one of those things, if you're standing in it, you're going to you're gonna wish you weren't standing in it. So just be careful of that. Uh, we could re-roll, but there isn't really a reason to do it. The tank has so many nice items for this whole standstill and kill things uh, build. But uh, again, because there's so much going on, you can't really indefinitely get everything you want very, very quickly. So right now, it's not really a build. Uh, weapon cooldown, weapon reload time, that's perfect. Sorry, not weapon cooldown, ability cooldown. Right, let's give me a level up, go for the turret, that's perfect. All right, as you can see, we have absolutely zero potatoes in our run so far. And that's just uh, the perfect example of how to not unlock the bunny, Senji. But it is a good example of just how hard it is to get all of those upgrades. So we will be taking the rocket launcher, I changed my mind mid-run and I'm allowed to do that because uh, we're human and I'm human just like you and I changed my mind. So we're going to be going for the rocket launcher, I feel it fits the theme even better than the minigun and let's get that going. Alright, just in case you didn't know, Killing Frenzy, you can see our weapon fire rate as well as ability, no, actually not ability cooldown, but our weapon fire rate went up to 175%. That's what the star does for you. Uh, stone skin made our armor go to 1000, 
and the other one is movement speed you can check our movement speed is 140 percent so we'll wait for them to all run out and we'll go look at our stats again uh, only the movement speed uh, is up still but you can see our weapon fire rate's now 125 and uh armor is down to 62 again let's just check what the movement speed movement speed went to 115 so you get quite a decent amount of movement speed. I just want to check the other one if we pick it up again, the Killing Frenzy. Uh, I don't know if it changes as you kill things, uh, but we'll just double check. It might not be only the uh, weapon fire rate. It could be weapon reload speed as well. Uh, we're going to banish the minigun. I don't want to keep seeing it over there, so we can get our rocket launcher just before the end of here. That's fantastic. Dodge that kill everything die to my rocket fantastic grab a saw blade just so we've got something else damaging enemies with ability power grab some juicy upgrade over there and give me something over here oh we found a potato we're gonna grab it because we never know we still got three and a half minutes to uh, find more potatoes again if you do find uh, three of them you're just going to take it to the middle right part of the map over here the boundary wall and give it to the bunny when you have all three of them so one thing you could do is like spend the entire run over here in the corner and you would be able to you know pick it, uh, have the bunny spawn if you find the potatoes Gosh, I haven't even been able to get my helicopter struck. I haven't been able to get anything. There's just so much to level. You have so many levels to get absolutely everything you want in one level is just really, really difficult. Definitely going to try this on Endless though. It's going to be fantastic to see if it occurs. Um, I have heard a lot of people having the game glitch out on them after they've reached like an hour and a half of endless i have no idea how they get that far but obviously it's a build that you need to play with to get that far and i haven't played on that build so we gotta we gotta try it out and see all right upgrade our rocket launcher even further go grab our weapon cache over here give us a potato nope we only have one more reroll Let's see what we get. We got the magazine clip, which we don't want. So we're going to grab the last armor one. Armor is actually really, really nice. If you get the stone skin and something hits you, you really don't feel it. So it is very, very nice to get that. And we just picked up the uh, weapon fire rate one, 175% and 10% reload speed. Just remember those numbers, 175 and 10% because this one doesn't last for very long. There we go, so it went to 125 and 60%, so both weapon fire rate and reload time get affected by it, which is really, really cool. And uh, we gotta just run away from these guys. You can see our life isn't in the greatest spot. There we go, pick up some of the life, fantastic. Killed him. We got hurt by something, I don't even know what. It's probably those spiders on the floor. There's so much going on, you don't even realize that they are there. That's why they are so dangerous. Alright, go for saw blades. Let's see. I guess we can go for weapon fire rates and movement speed we don't really have re-rolls or anything anymore unfortunately but uh, it's not the end of the world just no potato for senji today that's the name of the rabbit in case we haven't realized that senji the rabbit Ooh, into five okay i did not see that happening Ooh, we just killed those in the nick of time we had like so many on us there are so many bosses right now because it is that time of the round. So things got really hectic. I don't know why I couldn't move over there, but for some reason I couldn't move over there. And that nearly caused us to die. Luckily we do have some life regen. 
Luckily, we can make it so that we don't really need to move so much either to do a lot of damage. So we're in a very good spot. <laughs> we don't even have our assault rifle. That's how hectic it gets with levels in this run. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. Alright, there we go. Survived the night, the zombie horde. And we actually got 15 levels over there. So we survived. Uh, there we go. We've actually got an updated uh, tree as well to show us absolutely everything. So uh, before it used to just show you your damage like... Uh, I don't actually know. I don't remember. It might have... No, I think it did only show you your damage like this. But now it actually shows you absolutely everything. So you can see our automatic turret doing 600,000 damage. Our, uh, what did the most damage over here? pump action shotgun but that's because it took us forever to find the rocket launcher i mean <laughs> ouch and then uh, the engineer who was our main guy the laser doing 723,000 damage so huge damage numbers i mean that's probably the most we've ever done in a single run uh, and uh, yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy the update and trying to get all of the achievements down and done uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.